Doobie does a giant snow penis. <laughs> hey YouTube, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day and enjoys watching me create a giant snow penis in my backyard. Right now it's mostly just me failing at rolling a snowball. I move forward and try a second time, which works out much better for me. And we come back to our uh, failed lump here, adding more snow and then giving it the old uh, give it a hug technique to try to bring it together, which seems to work pretty successfully as we manage to roll it into a ball after it just being a failed lump. I then realized that my secondary ball is a little bit on the small side, so we go about rolling that around the first one to gain a little bit of mass to equal our balls out. And then naturally, as you must do once you roll a ball, you've got to smooth that out into a nice round shape. I mean, we don't want any oblong bollocks on our hands here. And we're finally happy with our roundness and plump fullness of our balls. So we move on to the base of the shaft and starting our creation of that. This is going to be a three tiered shaft that we have to join together. Just finishing up the base of the shaft as we place it on and round it out a little bit. And here comes shaft section two, about the same size. We try to even it out and then we've got to pack our crack full. You don't want to leave any gaps in your peen. You got to get that shaft nice and even girth from top to bottom. And last but not least, here we are creating the head of our giant snow penis. Not quite the right size, add a little bit more mass to it. Let's get it up on top there. Turn it, get it right. You can't, you want about even girth on every side. The head of a penis doesn't stick out on one side more than the other. So here we are patching our head on and making sure we leave a little seam for noticeability. And now we're just kind of working the head down, getting a nice shape to it, getting a nice concave cone on the top of it. We'll put in some lines and a little bit of texture. Once we're happy with the shape of our head, we're gonna go ahead and add the one last thing that's really missing to this snow penis, and that's some nice bush pubic hair. So we break down some bushes in the backyard and we start adding our twigs in here. And there you have it, a giant snow penis. So there's only one thing left to do now, and that's pose with my new friend. Comment down below what the craziest thing is you've ever built in the snow, or if you have snow. Have a great day, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed that. We have much, much more coming in the near future. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy.